now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is a this is a plane that a friend of mine he wanted at a fun fly, and then he pretty much flew the flew the daylights out of it until it uh, until it uh, didn't quite fly the way he wanted it to fly anymore. And uh, he gave it to a different buddy of mine, and he flew it for a little while. And then, uh, then he gave it to me. So this is actually turned out to be a plane that I really, really enjoy flying. It, it does not have the original AS3X in it, and I just have a uh, Eternity uh, receiver in there. And you know, I'm not, run I'm not running it off of Spectrum. I'm running it off of a uh, Radio Master TX16S Max. It's got the bling. I'll take, it for, take this one for a little short flight. Loosen up the thumbs a little bit before I put up other stuff. Let's go. It's, it's, it's quite breezy today. You can see the, uh, the uh, wind vane going like a champ right now. So, but it's, it's almost right down the runway, so it shouldn't be all that bad. I would imagine the safest place for you to be would be next to me, because I'm not going to crash the plane into myself. Ready? Mm-hmm. I've been filming this whole time? Yeah, that's fine. I gotta find where the zoom went. Okay. Your head. <laughs> yeah. My bad. You may not want to be behind me then. There we go. I'll try and go a little bit slower so you can actually be able to film it a little bit better. Than that. But it really is a nice plane to fly. I have no idea what a brand new one would actually feel like, but I'll tell you what, if it feels anything like this, you know, it's really such a pleasure. That's thumbs off right there. It, it just tracks. Beautiful. Five just a fun little plane to fly. Be relaxing and it would be uh the original person that owned it could uh could do a whole lot more with this with this plane than, than I could, or, or than, I, than I can. I'm just more of a scale flyer, I guess. Ropes and rolls, little, little fun stuff like that. I'm growing very fond of this uh, Radio Master TX-16. It's it can it can it can do so much more than I can ever possibly, you know, to, before you know, really more than I'll ever be able to figure out. But one of the things I really like about it is that it, it can fly any any protocol really, anything from uh, Fataba. Uh, you know, it was uh, the DSMX, uh, 
it's, it's, it's even got a thing for old, you know, I don't know if y'all remember WL Toys, I don't even know if they're still around. Right. <laughs> and it's awesome. A lot. It's just a fun little, it, it's a fun transmitter. Feels nice in the hands. Now, I don't know yet. Electrics and everything, it works very, very nice for me. I haven't put any nitros or gases on this one yet, just because I'm not all that familiar with, uh, you know, <laughs> with the reliability of it. But so far, I have yet to have an issue, and I've got quite a few flights on this thing already. Whoop, let's go ahead and bring it in. Every time you go over my head, I just lose it a little bit because of sun. It's okay. Coming in. Whoa! I don't have a my my tail wheel is not attached. It just kind of flops, so kind of kind of taxis like a like a Fokker D7. It's all rudder. It's a lot of it. Come on. There you go. Come on there, sunshine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Coming at you. Ain't gonna hit you, don't worry. Alright. Fun little plane. It's a nice it's, it's a nice one to put up and loosen up your thumbs. Oh, um, uh, the, the original gentleman that had this plane, his son 3D printed the landing gear on this guy. And uh, I don't know what, the, what, what happened with the original, but uh, it's got some glue. You know, it's, it's, it's been busted up here a bit. It's been, looks like it's got quite a few little glue spots. Got, got some Velcro holding on the uh, hatch. I got Hold from, up, uh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> take, take one. Buddy. <laughs>